Hello there, friends. Welcome back. It's late December 2017. It's the late in the year holiday season in many parts of the world and in many places that also translates to a gift giving season and it is no different for my own household I never, I never really ask for much, if anything, in terms of gifts for the holiday season because I'd rather just spend more time with the family, play more games, that sort of thing. Although, the lack of a, uh, a, a gift list from me is, uh, is the source of no end of frustration to my family, who just want me to make it easy on them. But this year, one of the items that I received has a bearing on the channel, or at least content on the channel, the ability to make a certain kind of content on the channel, and I thought it might be fun, since I'm off work for a couple of weeks and am able to do a few more videos, that it might be fun to do a slow, patient unboxing here at the end of the year and show you the, the item that my family got me for the channel. So I stuck the phone up on the tripod and got out the Yeti and we'll see if we can do something a little more casual this evening. And uh, we can take a look at this item and see what we think. So let's see what we have. I'll have to hold it at an angle until we get the plastic wrapping off of the box because I don't want to blind you. But as you can see, this is a, uh, a device by a company called, I believe it's Zhiyun. And it's called the Smooth Q 3-Axis Smartphone Stabilizer. Or you might hear these devices referred to as gimbals. And the idea behind something like this is that it has a handle here. And it has a set of small servo motors powered by batteries in the handle. And the idea is that when you mount your smartphone 
in the gimbal and center it in all the directions so that it is balanced. Then you turn it on and these little gimbal motors activate. And the idea is that the, the motors can offset or cancel out the unintentional motion that you might impart into the video that you're trying to shoot by, you know, walking around and handling the phone, you know, in a, in a jerky manner. Uh, it smooths out the video and makes the, um, the resulting product look a lot more uh, professional. And my family got me one of these because they have heard me talk about it a little bit with respect to some things I've wanted to do outdoors. And uh, maybe we can talk about that a little bit as we go through opening this box. So on the front, we have the Zhiyun, a little icon there, and we have a picture of the Smooth Q with a cell phone mounted up. We have some, what I presume to be Chinese characters here. And we have the phrase, perfecting the moment, here at the bottom. This side is pretty unadorned. On the back of the box, we have some features called out, such as direct mobile charging through gimbal, instant manual zooming control, 12 hour continuous work time, and two way mounting frame for easy switch. We have some icons here for accessories included, and it looks to be a USB cable and perhaps some sort of a hard, a hard shell carrying case, which would be pretty cool. We have another picture of the product here, and we have a little red circle here with the phrase, move like movies in it. More characters here. And nothing on this side again. Nothing on the end. And nothing on the end. So, let's see about let's see about getting this outside wrapping removed.
it's not that I've had a long, long list of outdoor ideas that I wanted to shoot for the channel. But I've had a few. The Forgotten Cemetery video is probably the first example you might think of if you're familiar with my content. steady when I was shooting that cemetery footage if I tried to walk at the same time. So all of the shots in that video were taken with me standing in one place or sitting sometimes and just pivoting my body to pan around my surroundings. was never able to really capture a sense of exploring the cemetery or moving through the cemetery because walking would just wreck the, the smoothness of the video. Something like a stabilizer would have helped with that. to the side to keep the lid from running into the microphone. This this layer here makes some really nice sounds. There's a certain muted quality to the high end of this, of this crinkling. See if we can remove this from the box. We can return to the box in a second for the 
miscellaneous items that are in there. If you follow me on Twitter, you might have noticed over the summer this year a picture of a covered bridge that I posted. And I asked if anybody was interested in a ASMR tour of some covered bridges. And I got some really nice feedback on that. But that day that I was out looking at some local bridges, when I took that picture, I shot some test footage walking through the uh, bridge and it just, just wasn't good. Even when I would try to walk very gracefully, very smoothly, as much like a ninja as I could muster, footage was just still too shaky, too jittery. So subsequently I haven't gone any farther with it. Well, this is very nice. It's a, it's a fairly stiff plastic case. It looks like a looks like a miniature guitar case or a bass case. And there are very fine uh, parallel striations that go in this direction. that you can hear when my fingernail drags across it. It's got a little bit of a metallic sheen to the case. It's got a flat bottom. I suppose you could say. And perhaps the most challenging bit of all, this zipper. I'm going to have to see if I can successfully unzip this case without generating a ton of very undesirable racket. Wish me luck. struck as I'm doing this by how somewhat ridiculous this is. I'm sitting here late in the evening uh, on my Christmas break from work, very slowly unzipping a case on a Christmas gift while 
very carefully studying the audio meters on my phone to make sure that the zipper noise doesn't doesn't go too high. <laughs> this this is where ASMR has taken me, ladies and gentlemen. bit was the roughest. All right, we're unzipped. Let's see what we see. I'm trying to negotiate this so that it doesn't uh, hit the mic. Presentation is impressive. I have a small amount of padding with custom molding on the inserts to accommodate the various shapes. And then here we have the gimbal itself. In its de-energized state, all of the motors rotate very freely and smoothly. This is a three axis gimbal, so I would assume there are three motors, which I presume are here, here, and here. The one at the handle here moves very smoothly. Let's see if I can lift it out of the case doesn't feel very stable in the hand because you know, none of the none of the motors are doing anything so the whole the whole gimbal apparatus is very very floppy in this state let's see if we can figure out a better way to see the gimbal And move the case to the side. I have a, I have a dark blue towel here, which may not show off the gimbal very well. All 
we'll move a piece of paper into the frame so we can see a little more contrast for a moment. So there we have it. This is the area that the phone would clip into. There are some thin rubber guards, a flat piece here, and then two rubber channels here and here to hold the edge of the phone, as well as a channel here. One of the servos is right here, and you can see it rotating. Then another would be here. You can see it rotate. And the one at the handle. There are some controls. This feels like a, a joystick. It moves in all the directions. Ah. There must be batteries in it. I see uh, lights appear when uh, I hit the button, which I assume is a record button. And a switch. I don't want to I don't want to turn any switches especially now that I know there are some batteries here. But this is it. Things like covered bridges and and the cemetery I spoke of before. Um, things like, if you look at my uh, junk drawer uh, playlist and look at the Look at the video I uploaded in October about the Red River Gorge, all the footage in there. It's good enough just to give a person a sense of the place, but it's, it's not good enough to really showcase main content around. And, and I'm really hoping that a device like this will help me take those handful of ideas that I'd like to do outdoors and allow me to breathe life into them. I think some smooth outdoor video of some very specific places that mean something to me and that I'd like to show you and introduce you to could be a great framework for some thoughtful, um, composed rambles and narratives and descriptions, and I'm really hoping to add a little more of that content to the channel in the next year with the help of this little gadget. I've, I've taken a little bit of stubborn pride in um, using all of this old audio gear that I use for the main content of the channel, but, you know, I don't, I'm not, I'm, so, I'm certainly not anti-technology, and there are some things that you just can't accomplish without some modern technological help, and getting smooth video is definitely one of those, uh, one of those categories. There's a little USB port there, it looks like. And it looks like we have a standard mounting screw uh, there on the end to uh, for tripod mounting and what have you. Let's see what else was in the box, shall we? I 
I don't think it's very much. We have this cardboard insert. like it has the strap, a carrying strap for the uh, case. It's resisting my efforts to pull it out right now and I don't want to make a huge noise like that one. And in the other side here is the USB cable it looks like. And there's that noise again. I'm an amazing unboxer, clearly. And then the last bit is the Zhiyun Smooth Q User Guide version 1.2. Uh, that's supposed to be a micro USB cable. Our standard disclaimer and warning, some battery safety guidelines. Get to know the smooth Q. That was a joystick there. There's a mode button on off and the little switch that I didn't want to mess with is called the shifter lever. It can stabilize a phone of a mass in between 75 grams and 200 grams. Charging guidelines, app download and installation. Startup. Introducing the gimbal control modes. Uh, here they are. The three servos are for pan, tilt, and roll. That is what we mean when we say three axes of stabilization. Introducing connection ports and various operations. App operations. Usage of main accessories. Ah, uh, all these accessories are purchased separately. This is a remote control. I definitely don't have one of those. Product specs, warranty card, certificate of quality. And there we have it. The Smooth Q three axis stabilizer. of the family for thinking of me in this way and I'm optimistic about uh, seeing what we can do with this. Part of me wonders if a uh, 
a redo of the uh, Forgotten Cemetery video during the winter months might be an interesting experiment. I bet that place would be uh, quite something in the winter time. I will close by saying look out for a little more outdoor content in the uh, in the coming year and uh, if it works out well and it looks halfway decent well you can uh, thank my family for that I suppose <laughs> thanks for uh, hanging out with me for this more informal video, and I will uh, look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks very much. Bye.